Hey guys, it's May 4th, uh, Monday. Um, got in the creek this weekend. Uh, found a few interesting things. Thought I'd go over them with you. See if I can uh, shorten this thing up a little bit. I get a little bit long-winded. But anyway, I got a couple of effigies here and um, show them to you here. I have no idea on this thing. Um, maybe a snake or a, a salamander. You see all the pecking marks in that around the head and the neck neck part of this this piece here. Anybody got any ideas on that? Let me know. Little bitty thing. Pretty neat. Little small bird effigy here. This is really nice too. It's black stone. This is the head, uh, the wing part here, the tail, kind of the underbelly, the body here. But that's a really per pretty piece here. You see how they raise that wing part of it. Talked about that in some other videos. So they peck all around that, that wing and, and kind of have it raised it brings it out. Anyway, that's a pretty piece. Here's another bird effigy here. I don't know if it's supposed to be a wren or something of that nature. But um, the head up here, um, tail, body, body and wing here. pretty piece got uh made out of granite and quartz there's little pieces of, of quartz running through it here can't get this thing to focus for some reason there we go they've worked this all down pecked it all down chipped it and here's another little one here um this one's almost solid quartz. I thought this was kind of interesting. They drilled this, it looks to me like an eye here. But boy, they really worked this little piece here. This whole back, back side, down the neck, back of the neck has been worked off. Um, the bottom here has been worked. Kind of the throat area. I don't know if they were trying to do another eye on this side. And, Almost looks like they were trying to do a little bit. They do it on both sides on some of them. Some of them, they only do them on one side. But it um, looks like they, they were trying to do two sides on this one. It just didn't work out. That would probably be in the wing and the head here. But um, that's a pretty neat piece there. And I really looked at that close, and it, it actually looks to me like it's been drilled there in the eye. Anyway, here's another one here. Kind of the same concept. They've got this, uh, the wing part that's um, kind of um, been um, raised above the rest of the stone. This is a head. This is a wing part here. You see they've taken the top off of it here. They've chipped some of that wing part off up here on this part here on the top. That's quartz for the most part, and this is part here where the head is, is granite. Pretty piece. And this is an abrader. Um, we've talked about these before. That um, little 90 degree notch in there is used for um, running shafts through and taking bark and uh, knots off. Rest of the stone is polished pretty well. It's pretty comfortable in the hand. You see how dark and stained it is in there. I guess probably from bark, the bark and off of shafts. Uh, 
Um, a little quartz polish and stone here. This little polishing edge here, it's been kind of ground off around the edges here. Been held like that. It's a little small piece. At first I thought it might have been a pecking stone, but it's not. It's a little quartz polishing stone. Looks like it's been held like that. And here's a black stone grinder or, or um, polishing stone. I thought this was kind of neat. This is dual material. It's got this quartz here on this uh, grinding and polishing side here. And they've got that quartz just about completely ground off. And I just thought that was pretty neat to see that. But the rest of this stone has all been polished all the way around completely. Just really nice work done on this thing. A lot of work done on it been dimpled out in the back a little bit right here but um this fits in the hand really nice real comfortable boy they really got that quartz part of it just almost completely taken off there just thought i'd show that to you it's pretty neat looking here's another black stone polishing stone here that's a polishing surface there and they really work this stone too put a lot of work into it Completely polished off all the way around, real comfortable in the hand. It's dimpled out right in here and then right on this side here too. Just makes it real comfortable to hold. Nice piece. This is a quartzite polishing stone or grinder. Um, I've got a few of these. They're kind of that banana shaped. But this is in decent shape, so I decided to keep it. You see that? That surface there, completely flat. Be held like that. See the oils right here from the fingers and up here on the top too. It's a nice piece. And this, uh, this is a hand axe here. Um, uh, some people call them silts or, you know, chisels. I'm not sure exactly what this material is, but uh, anyway, you can see that edge on it. It's kind of worn. It's been used a little bit, but it's still got a pretty sharp edge on it. And this backside, the way they would do these backsides of these, these hand chisels, is that when you put this thing in your palm, you can see it that that edge is almost completely flat so it's not at an angle so they would hold it like that and then use it to chisel that's a neat stone kind of looks like it's got some quartzite and um, some of that black stone in there with it mixed in Uh, these are some pile or um, scrapers that I, I found also. This one's got a little bit of a thumb groove in it right here. And this, I picked this up and I got to thinking about it. I wasn't real sure about it for a while, but I've, I've come to the conclusion that this is a hide conditioner made out of mostly quartz. See where it's been worked all around the edges here. Um, a little bit of black stone up here. It's kind of a spoon-shaped piece, but um, they would work these hides. They'd get really stiff once they're dried out, and they'd, they would work these uh, these hides with a stone like this and rub it back and forth until the uh, the hides kind of uh, got a little bit more pliable, and some of the oils would come out and get those hides pliable so that they could. They can make garments and other things out of them. And here's all these linear pieces that are that are pecked in a form. I'm not real sure what the, this is. This is, but um, I think it possibly could be an atlatl weight or or something or a piece for for an atlatl. I've got quite a few of these too, but it's this thing's been all pecked in a form. This is some kind of a uh, some kind of blade, if I'm not real sure. 
I don't know if it was inserted in a shaft in the back there. It's pretty sharp at the point. Gets a little bit thicker towards the back on both sides. But it's got a pretty good little edge right in here. So it could have been a scraper. I'm not real sure. Just a pretty neat piece though. Quartzite. Here's an awl made out of black stone. And they use this to uh, to puncture hides with. That's a nice little piece there. The camera has a fit with this with this crystal crystalline material. Another little axe head here, some kind made out of quartzite. You can see where it's been taken off on the top. Really nicely formed piece though, been polished. I don't know if that, I would assume that would have been hafted in a small, probably a small stick. And here's a big axe head here. This is an old kind of worn piece here. It's been kind of beat up a little bit. It's got some chips knocked out of it. Um, a lot of pecking marks there on the back side. Probably been either inserted right in here, hafted right in here, but that's an old piece, old worn. Been around a while. Still a pretty nice piece. And I think this is a Warren axe here. See where it's been taken off on the back. This thing's been polished all the way around. Got a little bit of a chip in it right there, but other than that, it's, it's in really good shape. Kind of seeing where they take it off the bottom there a little bit, but. Here's another either celt or axe head. This is quartzite. This one's worn pretty good bit, so I'm, I'm almost certain this wasn't a worn accident. Of course, depending on the time and the need, uh, it could have been a worn accident. <laughs> but anyway, it's a fairly worn piece. You see where they've taken it off on the back? So then, Here's another little axe head here. This one's really worn. You can see where the wear marks are on it. And they use this a lot. It was not a worn axe, I can assure you. See where they've taken it off there on that edge. This is a, is a worn axe. This is a really nice piece here. You can see where they've kind of worked the top off and the bottom here. But that that's a real nice piece polished it no wear on it at all just a really nice uh nice example of a worn axe there could have been inserted or hafted kind of tapered on the back end a little bit that's a nice piece And this is a tool here that's actually a hafted tool. I'm not sure what the use was for it. Could have been a Warren axe. You see how it's kind of pointed at the end? Um, you can see how it's, the, the material's been taken out here on the back side. You really see the chipping and flaking marks there on this, on this stone. This is an old piece too. But anyway, what they would do is they would half that stone right there. And so that's how they would they would actually mount this. So it could have been a worn piece. Um, I'm not sure, but that's actually how they would half that, and that's uh that's why they uh they took that back end out like that. But they don't always do that. Um, I don't know, um, you know, why they do it with some stones and some they don't. But anyway, that that's a hafted piece there. 
old. And here's a black stone disc. This has been cupped out here. And you can see where it had some quartz going around it, and that's all been taken off right there. But I'm not sure what they use these for either. Some people say paint or ochre or... Um, but I don't know. It's all dimpled out right in there. And this is a pretty big piece of quartzite here. And the reason why I picked this up because it's been worked all the way around the edges. And I'm I just really not sure what they use this for. The only thing that stands out a little bit on this is that this edge here is kind of at an angle. As you can see. And it could have been used as a chopper. They could have held it like this and actually used it to chop on that edge there. But I'm not real sure. But it's a, a well-worked tool. Somebody put a lot of work into it. Polished it, pecked it. I'm not sure exactly what they used it for. And here's a uh, just a perfect oval made of quartz. And I don't know if this was a game piece or a ceremonial piece or, or just what it was. I guess it possibly could have been a hammer stone, but I, I really don't think so. Perfect oval. That's what I got today for today, guys. And um, anyway, I've got some things over here also. And this is a uh, day's hunt of what I call my small pieces. And I'll do a video on these as uh, soon as I can. There's some interesting pieces in here that, uh, that I think you would really enjoy seeing. But um, we'll go over those another day. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Have a good one.